Aveda Love is a, a fragrance that I wore for many years when I had mm, two and a half perfumes in my collection. And I think I was wearing this when I met my husband. Um, it's Ylang Ylang and Sandalwood. And uh, it's very, wow. Oh, it's so different to all of my other perfumes. It's almost kind of grassy smelling, kind of herbally grassy smelling. And I love oils. I just love how they feel on the skin and how they make your skin look and you know, shiny and plush and, and gleamy. Um, I'm gonna check this, I'm gonna start wearing this one more. Yeah. I'll be back for you, love. Don't you worry. Amouage Homage Attar. This is the perfume that I love to wear when I'm traveling on a plane because it smells so pure and it counteracts the staleness in the air, I think, on, on those sort of stuffy environments. This one is, is just divinity in a bottle. It's frankincense and roses and jasmine and, oh, rosemary and um, what am I missing? I think there's a bit of oud in there. There's citrus in there. Incredibly beautiful, lasts forever on the skin. I got my homage a little friend to play with when I was in London recently. This is another one by Amouage and it's called Azrar. Uh, and this one is a little more dense and, and feminine. I feel it has uh, jasmine in it. So it's, oh, and there's oud in there. And it has a, um, it's much headier. And this one is more of a kind of va voom fragrance. This is an interesting little find. I got this at a store in London called Arabian Oud, and this one's called Black Stone, which is the English translation of Hajar al Um I'm sure I'm mispronouncing that. This is almost like the, uh, this is a, a, truly an atar. It's, it's a really thick, um, oh, in fact, it's coming out. Oh, I'm just gonna be covered with perfume by the end of this little discussion. Um, this one is another interesting, um, extremely heady jasmine that has a lot of honey in it. It smells like honey to me. And um, it's very kind of leathery and honey almost has sort of a leathery aspect when it cooks into my skin. And um, I only need a teeny little amount because this one, I had to put this one in perfume seclusion. I put it in a couple of baggies and keep it away from the rest of my, my, my friends and family here because this is a, a Pong monster. Where are we going now? Oh, look what we have here. This is by Satellite. Uh, Pod Parasha, I believe, is the pronunciation. Uh, Pod Parasha is a really sappy smelling incense. It smells almost like tree sap to me, like pine sap. And, um, um, this one is, uh, gets a lot of use. I like it. Um, but I haven't seen it for a while. That's why I'm a little surprised to see it because I have, um, a lot of new babies in my life, a little bit like Madonna every time she goes to Namibia or something. Oh, and I think that's Angelina Jolie. Anyway, this one is a tester of black cashmere by Donna Karen. And, um, I do have a bunch of testers in my collection because um, they're cheaper. And obviously at a certain point, I have to think about cutting costs. Well, This one is very dense and wintry. I kind of associate it with um, winter and coldness and wetness and snowiness. Um, there's a clovey quality to it. It's incense and clove. And let's just revisit it here. Oh, wow. Very dry. Oh, that's what I like about it, too. Oh, it's really um, got a very dense, dry quality. Like, it almost makes you want to cough a little bit when you first put it on. Um, and it almost has a bitter quality. I love that about resins, is that you know, they're, they're so intense that they're, they're almost bitter. Um, not an everyday fragrance, but I like that it's in the world and I love visiting it. Oh, Tea Rose by Perfumers Workshop. This one is so evocative of my girlfriend Desiree from high school. She wore this one and I always think about her when I smell this. Hi, Desiree. 
she was just about the coolest girl in high school, so of course I wanted her to be my friend. And she looked like Cleopatra, and she wore white lipstick. And um, we thought we were just so hip and beat Nikki because we would bring thermoses of coffee to school, and we'd be in the corner drinking coffee. Hi, we're drinking coffee. Oh, this is a beautiful fragrance. The thing that's great about Tea Rose is that you can get it for about $10. And it's a true, beautiful rose fragrance. Very fresh, uh, very alive smelling. And... Um, just a classic, gorgeous, oh, wonderful. Oh, this fragrance makes me so happy. It's another Perfumerie Generale, and it's called Intrigant Patchouli. Intriguing Patchouli. And this one smells very much like Nag Champa incense, and I'm kind of a nut for that stuff. I think it's a fascinating fragrance. It's um, it's sort of fruity. It has a very dense fruity quality. Some, when you smell frankincense, it can smell uh, almost like pine or menthol. It's very head clearing, but Nag Shampa to me smells more um, from the earth and, and like fruit. And so this intriguing patchouli has that aspect. And um, it also smells, it has kind of a furry quality, like animal fur. Um, just kind of a musty, appealingly musty, animalic quality. And um, I have to thank my friends at Les Senteurs in London for giving me this. Um, I don't know what the matter is with them, that they just are throwing away perfumes. But no, I'm very, very grateful. And I this is a regular. <laughs> Love this one. Where are we now? Where are we now? This one is a little odd number by Memoir Liquide. They do a lot of uh, single note oils and then they can mix them up for you or you can choose. It's a little bit like a, one of those little ice cream stores where you pick three flavors and put them, they throw them together for you. Um, but this is a single note one. It's Nag Shampa again, that crazy incense that I love. And this one is extremely... This one is really, it's almost too head shop hippie to wear in public. I, I love smelling it. I, I, I get a lot of stimulation from really strong smells. I just find it, uh, it puts a tiger in my tank. Um, but I think it almost be, might be a little objectionable or it just might smell like I'm from a, um, came from an ashram and um, hippie land or something, but I like it. My goodness, what have we here? It's Shalimar by Guerlain. This one is a, a lovely lady that took me a little while to fully understand where she was coming from. Um, Shalimar has a, a very unusual creaminess that's almost like a sort of creme brulee. It's a little kind of a burnt quality to the, the vanilla and um, kind of a European smelling vanilla. It's just, it's not, it's not a typical um, teenager-y, you know, oh, it's cotton candy. It's, this one is a little classier than that and um, very sensual. It, it starts off with this, this creamy burnt vanilla quality and then gets leathery and smoky. And um, how many more times am I gonna say sensual? I think we can turn that into a drinking game too. But only if you drink perfume. I had to branch out to, to Montal. Uh, Montal is a line that has a, a gazillion and one different variations on Oud. Oud is a, a very complex uh, wood resin that has a leathery quality. It's, it can be a little sour. It can be, it's uh, very kind of personal smelling. And to me, it almost smells like floor wax sometimes. It has these crazy, crazy odor profiles. But this is the, um, the, the Oud lightweight uh, perfume. It's called White Oud, and it's a combination of roses and saffron, which I think is amazing in perfume. I've just discovered saffron um, recently, and um, just makes me happy. This one, I love to smell it. It lasts a really long time, although it is really strong when it goes on, and um, there's a lot of accusatory um, complaints coming from my husband whenever I put this one. I smell roses. What's that, rose? 
Like what? What did a rose ever do to him? Relax. It's white oud. Comme de Garçon is responsible for some of the best incenses out there. They have a great line called the Incense Series. And this is my favorite from the Incense Series, Avignon. It's pure Catholic high mass. This is just what you smell when the priest is swinging around that incense burner. And I think it just smells beautiful. It's a, kind of an intellectual smell because it's not, in other words, it's not one that makes you think, oh, it's so sexy. It's so, oh. it's, um, it, it takes me on a journey and it, it kind of makes my, my mind go. And uh, I kind of stumbled onto a funny little combination, which was to blend this with vanilla. And the vanilla I blend Avignon with is by Laudersin Parfumeur, and it's called Vanillia. And this is a curious little number because um, Vanillia, oh, it's really odd. It's kind of a combination of uh, cotton candy and ashes. And so it's very dry. It, it, it takes something that could be potentially really teenage and cheesy and turns it into this austere, uh, arty number. And when I mix the ashy uh, cotton candy with the Catholic incense, it does some crazy business in my head. I, I really love it. And in fact, that was the combination that I wore as I walked down the aisle to be with my future husband. And that's what I always think of when I smell that. Yeah. Stay tuned for more of my perfume collection videos. I got a lot of bottles.